Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm editor of Reader's Digest magazine and I'm here to welcome you to the November issue, which is this one here with Judy Dench on the front. And today I have with me a very special guest, Debbie Rowe, who's Hello. one of our photographers. Hello, Debbie. It's Hello, lo nice lovely to have you come along. Um, and Debbie took um, one of the pictures for this feature called Live Through This. This is about people who've been in extraordinary circumstances and how they've managed to come through. And the, the picture you took, absolutely beautiful picture here, is of um, Effat, this lady here, who yes, yes. had been kidnapped by the state and ended up in a prison in Iran for seven years, which is absolutely in, incredible. So what was it like when you, you, went, you went to meet her? Well, actually, it's, it's funny. Two things happen when, when you go to meet people. I mean, you, have, you can't stop yourself having ideas of what they're going to be like. Yeah. And I thought she was going to be very sombre mm -hmm. and very serious and slightly broken yes actually. because of the experience yeah but she is actually one of the most joyful people uh -huh. i've ever met uh -huh. she's so full of life uh -huh. and i arrived and the whole garden is full of flowers and uh -huh. everything everything there is to commemorate one of the people that she lost yes and she has been through so much yeah. that she's so determined to savor every bit of her life yes yeah. And she now works with, with, with a charity that helps women from all over the world. Uh -huh. So all of that experience that she had has been put to something that's really positive. Yeah, yeah, no, fantastic, amazing. Now, some of the other work that you've done is in this book. Um, it's called 50 Over 50. And this is stories about 50 women, all of whom are over 50. And I must say, some of the pictures and the stories in here are completely inspirational, Thank you. Thank really. You. Um, I've very much enjoyed enjoyed reading this how did there's a there's a lovely picture straight away this um woman carolyn grace yes. yes she was a spitfire pilot yeah how did you get involved with this well what happened was the women that i was meeting over 50 were nothing like the women that were always being talked about in the press that uh -huh. people were invisible when they were over 50 yes. and they yeah. they weren't important we we decided that we'd we'd get as many women from different spheres as cover every sphere we could possibly think of. And we just traveled around the world, uh -huh. meeting the most positive, inspirational women. I mean, we went to Cambodia and uh -huh. did a woman whose husband was killed by, by stepping on a landmine. So uh -huh. she now defused landmines. Right, okay. And so it's again, it's taken a negative it's taken experience a negative and turning it. And moved to a positive, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but there was a woman who just at 76 decided to learn to read. Uh -huh. So they were wow. from all different spheres of life, really. Uh -huh. um, we did um, Susan Sarandon, oh, her political activist. Fabulous, yeah. She was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And Jane Russell. Oh, wow. Who, it's funny how things turn out, because I've always admired her, uh -huh. and I thought, oh, go along, and it's going to be amazing. We're going to uh -huh. be best friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> but she, she was deaf as a post. Oh, I couldn't no. hear <laughs> one word I said. But I did fix her air conditioning system. Oh, okay. So, um, I mean, other women were um, Rosie Swell Pope, who left her house one way and just ran around the world when she was over 50 and didn't stop oh. till she came back the other way. It makes you realise that you, what you can do, you don't really know until you try. You don't sense. know it's what you can do. That, Absolutely. Yeah. It, no surrender. But you were saying earlier that you, you thought you'd learned from talking to all these women the kind of secret of, oh, yes. of ageing or yes. the secret of living a, a good yes. life for longer. What, what, uh, would, what is that? Um, having spoken to all these women, I now have the secret to eternal youth. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Which I, th I think is really passion. Yeah. But actually, what these women all said was forget about your age. Mm -hmm. It really, really doesn't count for anything. Mm -hmm. And the, what happens with people's lives is as they get older, yeah. they start to do less and they start to take less risks. Uh -huh. And for example, when they say, oh, I won't go on holiday, well, let's not go abroad this year. It's, it's too yes, much effort. It's too hot or... Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's, or let's not go and visit our friends. It's too far. And people's lives get thinner and thinner. Uh -huh. And what all these women said was, no, every month uh -huh. I must try something new. Uh -huh. Every month I must do something I haven't done before. And if uh -huh. you do that, you've always got something to talk about. Yes. You're always experiencing new things. Yeah. And, you're, and your passion continues. It makes sense, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it's wonderful. It does make sense. So there you have it, the secret of life <laughs> from, from yes, the Reader's yes. Digest video from Debbie. <laughs> it's just, it's think big, really, isn't yes. it? Be passionate and think big. Think big. Yeah. Anything's possible. I didn't think I could do the book. Yes. But I picked the phone up and these women just... One led to another and I yeah, did it. 
yeah. And the same, it's the same for men. I mean, we were talking about women because obviously the, of the course, book is, yes, is, yes. is about women, but actually it's exactly the same for men, isn't we it? We did think men? about doing a 50 on 50 yes, for men as well, yes. actually. Yeah, that would, that would be good. Yeah, especially gorgeous men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And of course, they get, the older they get, the, the more George gorgeous Clooney. they get. Yeah. But you can see uh, Debbie's uh, photography in this month's magazine. It's a November issue, it's out now. And lots of other fantastic pictures and, and great stories as well.